My name is Rob and I'm a struggling college student getting my degrees in business and figuring out the ropes in my life. What I'm about to unfold to you is a very unsettling and deeply concerning ordeal which involves the specific sector of sales and insurance fraud. This may or may not be something that directly resonates with you. However, I want to warn everyone to stay away. I come forward today to talk about how I was scammed and robbed out of $7,000 of my hard-earned money from a well-established and connected multi-level marketing crime company. This event occurred back in September 2021 and went on through January of 2022. It may have been a short-lived gig for me, but it was originally proposed to me as having the potential to make five figures a week and to be a successful career. However, it was and has been ruined for me financially, it depleted my savings and caused me to have to couch surf from the aftermath of the situation. To say the least, I am absolutely enraged and livid and want justice to slap the living SHIT out of these criminals. And I will do everything in my power to help be a catalyst with the law in order to bring this company, Family First Life, down to their knees. You may not be familiar with them, but they are a sister company operating throughout the United States. And they are in partnership terms with a much larger organism called Integrity Marketing Company which is the heart of this entire fraudulent scheme. During my time with FFL, I witnessed events which I believe are unethical business practices, which need to be reported to the attorney state general for the sake of doing what's right for myself and others. It just has to be done. It, this is time consuming, but these are things that people have to step forward and do, and I'm willing to be part of that. I've been a victim of a very well organized business scheme to defraud using the First Life lead system, which is owned by Integrity Marketing Group, including male pro leads and work spots, which is all connected to FFL as a whole. There is evidence that Family First Life premeditated their criminal organization by selling leads that target elderly, minority, and low-income people. This company purposefully targeted younger, broke Latinos, especially, who are trying to start their careers and lives just like me. I was sometimes wondering why I was one of the few white guys in my direct upline and team who I was hired under. Come to find out there are tens of thousands of people that have been ripped off. If you look at the income disclosures, you will see the proof that all the accusations that I mentioned above are true and factual. They have nothing to dispute any of this. Additionally, agents are trained to lie to the public stating that they are with the benefits office here in your county. That's what they call as their front and are told that the FTC do not call registry does not apply because agents are not calling in response to a form the client supposedly filled out and mailed in. Not from a list at all. Everyone is manipulated, discombobulated, lied to, and cheated all while all staying tightly knitted to serve FFL's main goal as a fraudulent company. So I don't know if it's scare tactics or you know interrogation. Lastly, during the brief employment that I had with Family First Life, they set false, unreal expectations to entice myself and agents in order to purchase more leads. And I saw many in the same position as me when it came to dead ends and money lost in the beginning of what became a long road ahead with daily struggles in life while working under this company. And I began to ask questions and push back on FFL's leadership, their business practices, and more importantly, my direct line, Levi, Tass, Peter Cross, and Pamela Cross, which led me to getting a call from a CFO, Andrew Taylor, who did nothing but gas me and discredit my questions about being an MLM based company under Family First Life. It is my desire to produce the facts which will show the authorities what went on within Family First Life so that the company can be heavily investigated and prevented from continuing to harm new agents and deceiving the public. So I'm asking for help on behalf of myself and others who have been victims of fraud by Integrity Marketing Group and its subs subsidiaries, Family First Life, the Family First Life's lead system, work spots, Sean Miki, the CEO, Andrew Taylor, the CFO, Peter Cross, Pamela Cross, Levi Tass, and any others within Family First Life Companies Integrity Marketing Group who have helped this company thrive off of screwing off other people. And I'm asking for a full investigation into unethical and illegal insurance fraud committed by Sean Miki and Andrew Taylor and all the other managers within Family First Life and Integrity Marketing Group. I'm asking for consideration for emotional damages and damages for time, effort, and monetary loss due to fraudulent practices of Sean Miki, Andrew Taylor, Family First Life Capital, Family First Life Strength, Family First Life Lead System, the Integrity Marketing Group, and its subsidiaries. We'll go on all day about this. This is one of many first videos. Further, I'm asking for full release from chargebacks incurred from the practices of Family First Life companies and Integrity Marketing Group, and that my lost compensation in the lead fraud from FFL's lead system to be paid to me immediately. I thank anyone or whoever in advance for the time and the effort that will go into investigating the following claims. I know this is not easy, but I want these criminals to be in jail in the hundreds of other videos like mine an overall negative light that is being shed on Family First Life to this day should pique anyone's interest on these Jack A-S-S-E-S's. One of the best and well-known videos is from Sean Knight and another fellow named 
Christopher Coyle. They simply stated what happened to them and the facts at hand. And what we will find and see over time is people coming forward describing how FFL took everything from them. Here are my exhibits of more description and details. Levi Tass, my original direct hire to the upline of Pamela and Peter Cross's team, husband and wife, which I was on, continually stated that through the Family First Live CRM system, that there is no shortage of leads, while in fact this, the leads sold through the CRM are not instant and they're not exclusive as advertised. Another example, exclusive leads, known as the CRM instant internet leads, were resold multiple times. I purchased these leads. I received duplicates when purchasing, purchasing them through the same CRM lead system. They were not of quality represented. Not only were there duplicates, they were cold calls as well as dead landline numbers targeting elderly people mainly who had no true desire to acquire insurance. They targeted elderly people and used minority and poor people like me to go after them. The folks there were clueless, questionable on how we obtained their information. And it made me feel like I was trying to sell a vulnerable class of people something that they truly didn't need and it wouldn't benefit them. Another detail is at the advice of Levi Tast and other trainers, or in my case, recruiters with no actual interest in sales, I purchased, I was told to purchase 300 to $500 in leads per week, which resulted in pure loss and no actual sales of policies at all based on FFL's lead system. This was only one avenue of loss resulting from my upline's advice and FFL's CRM system. When I finally received my first commission, it was not from the CRM system at all, or the general public. It was from a family member. It was a higher commission payout. Though all this promise of payouts being released within three to five days from my upline suddenly turned into a year or more of smaller incremental payouts on a monthly basis. Yes, that might seem typical in this business, but that's not what I was told. It was just another lie. Afterwards, I was told that I was not working their system and algorithm correctly. I was told to keep buying leads and being persistent on leads that I purchased. I can continued to grow weary, especially with how much Alco I had and no profits. I was told to purchase better leads at $42 each. There were cheaper leads that other agents had already hot spotted and basically had sales or luck on. I say luck because how could anyone sell any policies when the leads are a complete sham? I would receive the responses electronically from Family First Life. And then when I received the leads, they were two years old and even the addresses were incorrect. And not only were they wrong or invalid, I was told to call people up to 10 times and to also use websites like peoplefinders.com or truepeoplesearch.com. The first major red flag that appeared like that, I was also told to use phone burner to get people's numbers. And when I was continuing to pursue leads that were dead ended, I felt that FFL's management and supervisors pushed us to harass people and to create this illusion that hard work pays off with phone burner disguising your number, which that would only be true if everything wasn't falsified, made up and wrapped up into a preordained organized crime scheme. When my attempted sales became a standstill with the leads I was purchasing, I was encouraged to participate now in virtual sales where agents are told to purchase double leads to be successful in the side of the business. I worked remotely and was also being told that while using the fine people websites to go drive out to addresses and door knock people who didn't answer my calls or I didn't close any sales with. And then Family First Life agents were also told or encouraged to join WorkSpots at $99 per month to get the lead discounts for the CRM leads. And WorkSpots is an office space membership owned by Integrity Marketing Group and Sean Mickey. When calling the exclusive internet leads, I was told by those I was calling that they had been called multiple times and that they had told us to stop calling over and over again, word for word. This proves that the leads were not exclusive and were resold multiple times. And if it was their first time being called, they told me that they had no clue what the call was about they had never mailed a lead of interest and that they didn't need any insurance. I began to have an internal shift in battle within myself that something just isn't right here. Mail Pro leads and other lead companies are affiliated with Family First Life. While Family First Life falsely maintained that they are not a leads company. When looking for other lead vendors, I asked questions on various Family First Life Facebook groups. Upon mentioning other lead vendors outside the CRM system, I was outed from the Facebook groups. Not only did I question things on social media groups and emails, but my direct upline held our weekly Zoom meetings. It was a free flowing chat room where I began to calmly and professionally ask questions about the company and that I was struggling where I was treated less than, lied to, gaslighted, and overall emotionally given the ring around, which is not gonna go anywhere with me. I'm, I'm absolutely enraged. 
And I ended up getting nowhere with that form of questioning. So I tried asking questions through our texting group where I began to realize how mind blind and manipulated the other agents on my team truly were. And it was truly devastating to see them fall in this trap, but there's only so much I can do. And I never received any response from any upper management and my direct upline started reaching out to me personally, telling me if I had any questions to not go on the group chat and to only message them directly. That way it did not cause confusion for others. At that point, I began to get more angry and resentful, realizing I had been lied to and scammed out of my time, effort, and money. I mean, I lost six months of my life to all of this drama. And I try to make others whom I got to know aware of the fact that something is not right here to vaguely wrap up the company is in breach of many laws and regulations number one the business opportunity act of california number two in breachment of employment contract and in income disclosure statements number three hyperinflated robocalls cold calling false leads and the selling of dud leads on their crm system being sold back to us losing all of our money number four they are now on their fifth do not call lawsuit and number five lastly the ftc has filed a cease and desist to stop their fraudulent claims. It is a downright Ponzi scheme that time and time again will be revealed as more light is shed on the company's dark moves and business practices under the hand of Family First Life. This is the beginning of the end. Thank you very much.